is this the new Lucasfilm? We don't know. I have a lot of people saying 100% it's fake, and then I've got other people going like, no, I, I think this has some legitimacy to it. If that isn't real, if that is a hoax, it's a fucking amazing hoax. Hey everyone, so if you've seen the Knights of Ren trailer that's been making its way across the internet for the last few days, I have a bit of a confession to make. I had a little something to do with it. Um, hopefully, I can explain the next couple minutes what went down and you'll be excited with me. So I'm so excited to finally start talking about this project. It's something that we've been kind of working on through the better part of last year and finally released it. So the story of how this all came to be was a handful of years ago, I actually made a Photoshop image of my brother as a Sith and made him all like on this mountain and he was all silhouetted. So then flash forward to like the early part of last year, my buddy Jake and I, he and I have done so much work together over the last maybe decade. Hey, how's it going? My name is Jacob Dalton and uh, I'm really excited to start breaking down some of the VFX that we did on We've always had this idea of releasing some content that was just for fun, just something for us. And this just lent itself to being that project to dive into. So we used this old image that I had made as a reference. We are like, how could we animate this? All of this stems from just truly being a fan of Star Wars. So to even get a general idea of what we were gonna film, initially I recorded a little pre-vis using a Lego set and a Kylo Ren action figure that I had. And he jumps off midair. Bam, smack down onto another ship, maybe an X-Wing. Where I was able to film and we were able to get the timing just right of what we wanted for some of the angles and the timing of the final piece. And then from there, once we locked in the look that we wanted, we knew it was time to do costuming. And for costuming, I didn't have really time to get some sort of crazy custom-made helmet or Sith clothing made. And so I actually put together this mask using an old Lego set, a cardboard box from my daughter. It's literally Lego friends. You can see, you can actually still see on the inside some of the Lego imprints. It was a, just a box that was sitting out in the garage, so I got it. And I made this mask that was heavily inspired by, and of course, most people guessed it, the Witch King from uh, Lord of the Rings. So that was the heavy inspiration. I was like, well, what if it was just some Sith wearing some cool Witch King mask? That was always the idea, and it's been really fun to see a lot of people calling that out. From there, it was a matter of costuming, and for that, I just used some bed sheets. I literally just cut up some black bed sheets that I had lying around. I mean, you could see the armband in the close-up shot is literally just a strip of black gaff tape that's just on his arm. So the whole idea was always to take something that was very low budget and very DIY and homemade and grow it into be like this really cool end result. And even for the lightsabers, they were just these plastic toy lightsabers that you can get from Walmart that are just not even long enough. So some of the most fun was actually shooting this project because we had to try to figure out a really cool way to get um, my brother to jump from the TIE fighter all the way to the X-Wing. So to achieve that, we actually set up a crash mat about maybe 10 yards away from a trampoline that we had out back. And my brother bounced on there and jumped from the trampoline to the crash mat. And we were able to use the blue background sky as a bit of a blue screen chroma key to like cut him out. And then of course, a bunch of it was by hand to literally just rotoscope frame by frame uh, this jump that he did. So everything you see in the final was shot outdoors using the blue sky as the chroma key. And from there, we began the exciting and kind of tedious task of the visual effects. Uh, Jake and I divided up some of the tasks, which included some animations, rotoscoping, claw simulations, full 3D modeling. If you can name a technique, it was most likely used somewhere in this piece. So one thing we tried to do for a lot of these shots within this short trailer were using handheld shots, so real footage, and then we tracked in all the digital assets afterwards. So even shots that were fully CGI, like the intro shot, I was actually outside running with my gimbal and we could take all that tracking data, import it into After Effects, and then actually build the 3D scene around it. So most of the scenes that made the final video here were actually real shots that we filmed ourselves. Jake absolutely crushed the heavy lifting of the VFX side of this. And it's always such a joy to get to collaborate with such talented friends and just seeing these projects begin to come to life. What's ironic about this project is even as we were working on it and almost done with it, we had never thought about releasing it as a fake trailer. The idea was always to just to make the short little clip it and release it online and just say, hey, it's a cool Star Wars homage that we did. But what was fun is that as we were editing it, we started to realize this had some energy and some fun to it. And I roped in my buddy, John, who's acted in a ton of short films for me. So I went over to his studio, we recorded the voiceover passes. And once that all started to come together, we we're like, man, this actually sounds like a real trailer. Anger leads to 
who hate. Did we do it? <laughs> we did it. <laughs> We knew if we were gonna make this into a trailer, we needed to have some sort of a buzzy title and some sort of treatment that made you think that this could potentially be a real show. The Knights of Ren were always super cool in the promotions, but they never did anything in the new movies. So our initial feeling was, yeah, if we make a teaser trailer that feels like Knights of Ren, maybe people would be excited about it because finally we'd give these guys some screen time and something cool to do on screen. So then we had the idea, what if we play it film it on our cell phones and make it look like leaked footage from like a theater or from like an internal screening, something where you might question like, how did this get out? Where did this leak come from? Is it from a canceled project? Is it from an unreleased project? I had taken black t-shirts that I own and just kind of wrapped it around and clamped it to my laptop to try to make it look a little fuzzy edge, look like the projection wasn't just on a screen. And from there, I filmed it with my iPhone, made it look kind of extra bloomy and low quality. After the trailer was made, we actually sort of debated on how to even release this. But luckily for us, ever since YouTube just recently removed the dislike button, we figured now we could get a ton of kind of like positive buzz about this and hopefully just kind of roll through and, and really interest people before, before it had too much chance to get too criticized. And the one thing that's crazy is diehard Star Wars fans being able to actually pinpoint why this wasn't right. People calling out the wrong TIE fighter sound effects, people calling out the wrong uh, X-Wing models. It was wild to read through all the comments and to see like some people just totally knowing their Star Wars trivia and being able to totally dissect this on why it wasn't authentic. Kudos to you guys for, for like doing the deep dive and figuring this out. Even people that didn't believe this was real were still super supportive saying like, we would love to see this as a real project. And that to us as creators is honestly like, that's the pinnacle, that's, that is why we made this. And we've seen some fun comments for people asking to release the full like unleaked version of the trailer. So let us know in the comments if that's something you'd like to see and we could drop the full 4K version uh, without all the, the iPhone footage. So it would be fun to present the full version and see what you guys think and see if it feels more realistic or less realistic once you see the full quality. So let us know in the comments if you'd like to see us drop that full version. And also over the next couple of weeks, Jake is actually gonna be breaking down and doing some very specific tutorials on how we achieve some of these bigger VFX shots and all the work that went into all the fine details you might not have caught and just to see our process. So those tutorials are gonna be dropping in the next couple of weeks. So head on over to his channel. Be sure you're subscribed there because he's gonna be dropping some insane content shortly. So let us know what you'd like to see. Would you like to see more Star Wars? Should we do a Lord of the Rings thing? I don't know. We already have the Witch King mask made. So let us know in the comments below what you'd love to see. So yeah, thanks again so much for watching this and we will be seeing you guys around shortly. All right. Peace. That, that blows my mind. Give that guy a job at Lucasfilm or, or, or somewhere. At, at DICE, EA, whatever.